One of the Virginia Tech students charged in the murder of a seventh grade girl will remain in jail. A judge today denied bail for 19 year old Natalie Keepers. She's accused of helping to plan the murder of 13 year old Nicole Lavelle. She is also accused of helping dispose of this girl's body. Prosecutors say Lavelle disappeared from her home last week after meeting up with 18 year old Virginia Tech student David Eisenhower. Eisenhower is the one charged with her murder. Lavelle's mother broke down when talking about her little girl. Coley had a passion for pandas. Music, dancing, dreamed of being an American Idol someday. Her favorite color was blue. Nicole was a very lovable person. Nicole touched many people throughout her short life. Yeah, I can't do that part. Oh, that mother, that mother, uh, Martin Savage is following this one for us today. And uh, with regard to what happened in court, uh, w what happened? Natalie Keepers had a bond hearing today. You already pointed out it was denied. Um, her parents were there. They actually testified on her behalf. And mm -hmm. Natalie Keepers also testified as well. The parents seemed absolutely shell-shocked, and maybe why wouldn't they be here? They thought they had a star engineering student daughter who now is charged with murder. The uh, state attorney uh, outlined sort of what Keeper's involvement was here, and initially I think people were thinking, well, maybe somehow this student got pulled into this. No. The prosecution says Natalie Keeper's is in this murder up to her neck in the death of this 13-year-old little girl. So much so that she co-conspired, planned, even talked about the murder we weapon that was going to be used, talked about how they would slit the girl's throat, chose the site where the murder was going to take place, and then after the murder took place, actually helped to lift this child's body into a car and then drive around in that same car with the girl's body in the back as they go to Walmart to buy cleaning supplies to Ugh. clean up after the murder is done. Again, all of this is just coming very one-sided, of course, from the prosecution. But when you listen to it, it is beyond despicable. It is astonishingly awful. And is that the reason why then when she was in, you know, initially arrested and then prosecutors you know, piled on these additional charges based upon what you just outlined? Apparently, once authorities came to her, and they did, they, they came to her literally in the middle of the night and, and pretty much said, we're on to you here, uh, she began spewing everything, again, according to the prosecution. She began revealing all the information about the planning. The other interesting thing here is that she never met the victim. She was apparently instrumental in this victim's death and also the handling of the disposal of the body, but she never actually met her, which in kind of a sick way is really bizarre. And then on top of that, she herself was bullied. She testified, at least at the hearing today, which is a stunning admission since the girl who was the victim here we know was bullied herself in school. How does this happen? How does promising young Virginia Tech students come together in a murder as they have been accused?